Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang direct and inverse variation. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang another topic sa algebra which is variation. In particular, sa video na to, ang type of variation na i-discuss ko is direct and inverse variation. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng variation? So, sabi, a variation is a mathematical function that relates the values of one variable to those of other variables. So, from the word itself, variation, magkakaroon tayo ng relationship ng two or more variables sa isa't isa wherein magkakaroon tayo ng dependent at independent variables kung saan pwede nating baguhin yung values ng independent variables para at the same time mabago din natin yung value ng dependent variable. So, kaya tinawag na variation. So, meron tayong example dito na the area of a circle varies as the square of its radius. So, this time, yung example natin na to, yung dependent variable natin is A at yung independent variable is R. So, tama naman, di ba, na yung formula natin for the area of a circle is area is equal to pi r squared. So, kaya the area of a circle varies as the square of its radius. Right? So, kung mag-input tayo ng iba't ibang value ng ating radius, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, magbavary din yung area natin. At itong tinatawag natin na pi dito sa formula, parang siya yung magiging constant of variation or constant of proportionality. So, mamaya, discuss ko yun. Okay? Another example is, the volume of a cylinder varies as the square of its radius and height. So, di ba ang formula natin for the volume of a cylinder is, volume is equal to pi r squared h. So, magbavary yung volume ng cylinder natin as the square of the radius and the height. Okay, so again, itong pi, parang siya yung constant of variation. So, meron tayong different types of variation. So, in particular, meron tayong direct, inverse, joint, at combined. So, dito sa video na to, magpo-focus tayo sa direct and inverse. etong dalawa, yung joint at combined, i-discuss ko na lang sa next video. Okay? So, let's start with the first type of variation, which is the direct variation. So, sabi ay direct variation is a variation in which the quotient of two variables is constant. Or, we will have the statement, y varies directly with x, or y is directly proportional to x. Then, sa ito yung symbol natin, or, or equation form. So, y directly proportional to x with this symbol, or y is equal to kx. So, ito yung parang magiging pinaka-form natin ng equation for direct variation y is equal to kx, where k daw is the constant of variation. Or yung sinasabi ko kanina na constant of proportionality. Okay? So, ito yung hahanapin nating value nung k para malaman natin yung pinaka-equation nung variation. Okay? So, mamaya, bigyan ko kayo ng example. So, sabi daw yung direct variation is a variation whose quotient of two variables is constant. So, bakit? Kasi di ba ito yung given natin na equation for direct variation y is equal to kx. Pag divide natin both sides by k, we have y over x is equal to k. So, therefore, yung ratio or yung quotient ng dalawang variables natin, yung independent variable x sa kadependent variable y is constant, right? Which is dapat k. Okay? So, kahit anong value ang isubstitute natin dito for y at x, dapat constant lagi yung kanilang value, yung quotient nila. Okay? So, isa rin definition natin for direct variation is kapag tinaasan natin yung value ng independent variable, let's say itong x, dapat tataas din yung value ng ating y. Same kung babaan natin yung value ng ating x, bababa din dapat yung value ng ating Y. So, pwede natin maging graph dito is a line to denote na direct proportional yung Y sa X, right? So, habang tumataas si X, tataas din si Y. Kung bumaba man, bababa din si Y. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung concept at formula for direct variation, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, for the first one, we have 
if it is known that y varies directly as x and that y equals 32 when x equals 4, a. Find the variation constant and equation of variation. b. What is the value of y when x is equal to 3 fourths? Okay, so since given daw tayo na y varies directly as x, gagamitin natin yung formula na y is equal to kx. So, ang goal lagi is mahanap muna natin yung value ng k. Paano? Kasi bibigyan tayo ng values nung y at x dito, which is given, di ba, yung y is equal to 32, tsaka 4. Ipa-plug in natin yon. So, we have 32 is equal to k times x na 4. Then, solve for k. Divide both sides by 4. Therefore, k is equal to 32 over 4 or 8. So, after makuha natin yung k, i-plug in ngayon natin dito sa formula. y now is equal to 8x. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-equation natin for variation. So, sa a, ang variation constant natin is 8. Tapos, yung pinaka-equation of variation is y is equal to 8x. Which is a line, right? So, sabi naman sa b, what is the value of y when x is equal to 3 fourth? So, this time, ipa-plug in lang natin ngayon itong x na 3 fourth dito sa pinaka-equation ng direct variation. So, y is equal to 8 times 3 fourths. So, therefore, anong value ni y? 8 times 3 fourths or cancel si 4. And then, yung 8 magiging 2. 2 times 3 or 6. So, therefore, the value of y is 6 when x is equal to 3 fourths. Okay. Next, we have the circumference of a circle varies directly with its diameter. If the circumference of a 7 cm in diameter circle is 7 pi, what is the circumference of circle whose diameter is 10 cm, 15 cm, 18 cm, 20 cm? Okay, so direct variation nule. So, sabi yung circumference daw, let's say C, of a circle varies directly. So, equal K D. Let's say D yung diameter. So, kahit ano namang variable pwede nyo gamitin aside sa Y at X. Okay? So, C is equal to KD. So, solve muna natin ngayon dito si K. Based doon sa given. So, sabi if the circumference of a 7 cm in diameter, so D is 7. So, therefore, we have K times 7 and yung circumference daw is 7 pi. So, 7 pi yung C. So, masasolve ngayon natin dito si K. So, divide both sides by 7, we have k is equal to 7 pi over 7, cancel si 7, or simply pi na lang. So, therefore, yung formula natin is c is equal to pi d, which is tama naman, di ba? Kasi ito yung formula natin for uh, circumference ng circle. C equals pi d, or pwede 2 pi r, kung given yung radius. Kasi itong 2 r is just d, right? So, pi d, pwede rin. So, ngayon, ang tanong is, what is the circumference of circle whose diameter is? So, 10 cm, 15, 18, 20. So, pa-plug lang natin ngayon dito sa formula. Yung bawat D. So, for 10 cm, yung circumference is pi times D na 10. Or simply, 10 pi. Which is tama naman, di ba? And then, for 15, plug in lang natin yung 15. So, C is equal to 15 pi. For 18, C is equal to 18 pi. And for 20, C is equal to 20 pi. Okay? So, ganun lang. Okay, now let's proceed with the second type of variation which is the inverse variation. So, sabi, inverse variation is a variation in which the product of two variables is constant. Or we will have the statement y varies inversely with x or y is inversely proportional to x, then ito yung equation niya. y varies as 1 over x or y is equal to k over x. So this time, ang equation natin is y is equal to k over x. So di ba sa direct, y is equal to kx. So, sabi kasi kapag inverse variation, yung product naman daw ng two variables is constant. So, using this equation niya, pag multiply natin both sides by x, we have, cancel dito si x, magiging k is equal to x times y. So, kaya yung product ng two variables daw lagi is dapat equal to k. Okay? Now, another concept dito sa inverse variation is, Kapag inverse variation, ibig sabihin yung independent variable natin, kapag binago natin, let's say pinababa natin, dapat ang magiging value ng dependent variable natin na y is 
tataas. So, kabalik ka rin. So, habang bumababa si x, dapat, bab dapat tataas si y. So, habang tumataas si x, dapat bababa si y. Kasi inversely proportional. So, pwedeng maging graph nito, let's say, sa first quadrant, is like this. Okay? So, mapansin nyo, habang lumalaki si x, bumababa naman si y. Or habang lumiliit si x, tumataas naman si y. Okay? Okay, so para may illustrate natin yung concept at formula for inverse variation, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, if it is known that y varies inversely as x, and that y equals 24 when x is equal to 0.3, A, find the variation constant in equation of variation, and B, what is the value of y when x is equal to 0.25. Okay, so... Si y daw varies inversely as x. So, gagamitin natin yung formula for inverse variation as y is equal to k over x. And then, hanapin natin ngayon si k muna. Plug in natin yung given. So, y daw is 24 when x is equal to 0 0.3. So, therefore, 24 is equal to k over x na 0 0.3. So, multiplying both sides by 0 0.3. Cancel, we have k is equal to 0 0.3 times 24 or 7.2. So, therefore, ang pinaka-equation natin is y is equal to k na 7.2 over x. Okay, so yung variation constant is 7.2 and the equation of variation is y is equal to 7.2 over x. Now, pwede natin masalim ngayon yung value ng y daw when x is 0 0.25 by substituting in the formula. So, y is equal to 7.2 divided by x natin na 0 0.25. So, the value of y is... So, 7.2 divided by 0 0.25 is... Is in calculator na lang, it is 28.8. Okay? Next, we have the time t required to finish a certain job varies inversely as the number of persons P who work on the job. Assume that they do the same amount of work. If 15 persons are required to finish painting a house in 5 hours, how long would it take 3 persons to finish the same job? Okay, so this time, meron daw tayong problem kung saan yung time t daw required to finish a certain job varies inversely, so inverse variation as the number of persons p. So, yung variable natin is time t and persons p. So, sabi, t daw varies inversely equals k over p. Okay? Which is totoo naman, di ba? Kasi kapag mas dumadami yung person na nagwo-work, syempre, mas kokonte yung time para ma-finish yung work and vice versa. So, sabi muna natin si k. Kasi given sa problem daw na if 15 persons are required to finish painting a house in 5 hours, so therefore, P natin is 15 and T natin is 5. So substitute natin. 5 is equal to K over 15. So solving for K, we have multiply both sides by 15. Cancel here sa right. So therefore, K is equal to 15 times 5. Or simply 75, right? So K is equal to... 75. So now, ang pinaka-equation natin is t is equal to 75 over p. Now, ang tanong is how long would it take 3 persons to finish the same job? So, plug in na lang natin ngayon itong p, which is 3, right? So, dito sa pinaka-equation na nakuha natin for the variation. t is equal to 75 divided by p na 3. So, therefore, the answer is 75 divided by 3 or 25 hours. Okay? So, therefore, it will take 25 hours for 3 persons to finish the same job using inverse variation. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, direct and inverse variation. So, ito yung pinaka-basic types of variation na pwede natin ma-encounter. Yung direct, tsaka inverse. So, mali lang naman siya. It's just a matter of understanding lang sa given word problem kung ano yung pwedeng maging type ng variation or given naman minsan kung anong type. Okay, so hanapin nyo lang muna lagi dito yung constant of proportionality and then, masahanap nyo na any value of dependent variable or independent variable given a value of one of them using the derived equation of variation. Okay? 
So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.